Welcome back again. One more problem on standard 4MBT5, number in operations in base 10. Here's the problem. Now you can see D way down here as a possible choice. It's going to get cut off a little, but then we will go through why right away. That's probably not a good choice. So let's get right to it. All right, this is number five. Here we go. A multiplication problem is shown below. 4,266 times 3. Let's do our place value table. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Say it with me. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Which model? Key academic word. Model. Could represent the solution to this problem. Another word for a solution is answer. Could. Alright, so there's problem A, B, C, and then D, which we will get to at the very end. I'm telling you right now, D is not even close. Okay. Let's go to this one. Distributive multiplication property. Okay. So let's check this out. 3 times 6. This is the ones place first. Put a O. Remember, O equals ones. T equals tens. H equals hundreds. TH equals thousands. They're doing the ones place first. And I'm going to bring the problem down here. So I can annotate and write and mark a little better. They're doing this one right here, which is this. That works. Plus three times 60. Three times six? Wait, this is three times 60. This should be three times 60. Why we are in the tens place now, ones, tens. This is not correct. Therefore, this is not correct and then this one's not correct they forgot all the zeros on this okay so a not correct next one b we have area model go back a couple problems ago you can see it dissected for area model we have thousands hundreds tens and ones i'm going to write the problem up here 4,266 times 3. Let's go through this one at a time. First off, the ones place. Here's the ones place. 3 times 6 is 18. Check. Let's go to the tens. 3 times 60. Check. 6 times 3 is 18, and I add a 0. So the ones is done correctly, the tens is done correctly. Next, you will take three times 200. Ones, tens, hundreds. Three times 200. Makes sense. Three times two is six. They have the two zeros. Check. So the hundreds is done correctly. And then the last one for the thousands. Are they doing this model correct? They have 4,000 times three. We have three times four, one, two, three zeros, three times 4,000. Let's see if it's right. One, two, three zeros, one, two, three zeros, check, 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 and three times four is 12. This works. Now, go back to the question, which model below could represent the solution to this problem? That basically means there should only be one answer, but let's just double check and make sure. The next one, this problem was done not too long ago. This is partial product. So let's check it out. First, we're going to do the ones. 3 times 6 is 18. Check, check. Let's go to the tens. 3 times 60. Notice that zero there? 3 times 6 is 18. Oh, wait. Don't forget the zero. So right away, this is a mistake, okay? Let's make sure that that pops out. 
mistake, mistake. Look at this one, error, mistake, mistake. So it's not C, correct answer is B. Now if you wanna see what D was, if we come out to D, look at D, okay, number line and it's jumping 16 every time. That is nowhere close to that problem. What is going on with this? So let's just get rid of that right away, okay? So for this problem, you had area model, partial product, and then you distribute. The correct way of solving this problem is through this model, which is for B. Hope that helps. Have a good one. Keep practicing. See ya.